also, as the race went green, it was a battle between Rosina and Afanasyev going into the first corner. A few cars ran a little bit wide, but somehow finding his way through the middle was that black Audi on the right-hand side. Rene Rast managed to make his way up into third position by the time they got to turn two. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Alvaro Parent had a few attacks here and there, but getting past Mateus Stump down into the hairpin at turn 12 after he had to start right at the back. Caca Bueno made some places as well. Dominic Bauman getting a little bit of a slide on, and that was actually a really good move from Caca Bueno. That is some real top quality driving from the Brazilian star. And then we had some more fights all over kind of ninth and tenth positions. This was Alex Buncan battling with Fabio Anini, battling with Caca Bueno as well. Bueno making up another place, and Alvaro Parent following through. Then Parent managed to get past Anidi as well, down into the second corner. And then a bit of out of shape from Alex Buncan allowed Parent to get past him as well. But when he came up towards the back of 21 Sergio Jimenez, Parent misjudged it a little bit. Contact, round goes Jimenez. And unfortunately, that handed a drive through penalty to Alvaro Parent. You can see he wasn't even on the track when they made contact. A no brainer, really, for the stewards, unfortunately. Laurence Vanthor managed to take the lead of the race away from Stefan Rosina towards the end of the race. And Nicky Mayer Mounoff was preparing to get ready to take over from Rene Rast when they came into the pits. A little skip there and a little bit of fury there from Sergio Jimenez ending up on his backside as he tried to shut the door. That car also had door problems. It wasn't a great day for the doors. The drive through penalty happened and uh, that forced the number nine McLaren a long way down the field, unfortunately but into the pits came Rene Rast. It was the battle over second place. Mayer Mounoff came out just in front of Peter Cox, but Cox had his tyres up to temperature and effectively managed to scare Nicky Mayer Mounoff into making a mistake. He tried at the first chicane, not close enough. He tried then again at the second chain, chicane, not close enough. He tried at turn 12. Mayer Mounoff left his braking too late, ran wide, and the door was opened for Peter Cox to make it through into second place. Jan Seyfarth had a great drive, setting the fastest lap of the race on his way to a 10th place finish. Lucas Ordonez was battling hard with Carlos Vieira all over second place in Pro-Am, and that unfortunately ended in tears when Ordonez was spun around, Carlos Vieira poodling off. There was a problem, though, for Sebastian Loeb. They had to retire six laps from the end with a problem with the right rear. But it was the number 11 car of Laurence Vanthor and Stefano Telli who took the lead of the race. They held the lead of the race. Vanthor wins his home race. That gives them pole position for tomorrow, which should be an absolutely staggering event. Vanthor and Ortelli on pole position for tomorrow's main race.